is born, they know they have, the king is born with the beard, Jesus didn't have beards. <laughs> so they are patiently waiting for God to send them a savior to save their world and take them to the other promised kingdom because he's God of Israel, God of Jacob, God of Abraham, God of Isaac. For that matter, for them, they believe in the laws of Moses, the Pentateuch, they believe in, 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 in the history of, 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 of Joseph in Egypt, and they believe in preserving the heritage of the Jews, because they are the only chosen, God's chosen people who can never be defeated and who will always be destroyed by their God. These ones, the Judaizers, if you read history very well of the Bible, when Joseph was young, because Joseph came before Moses, so we trace Judaism through Joseph and the migration to Egypt. He was sold to Egypt by his brothers, who had wanted to kill him, but decided to sympathize and said, let us save. They sold him to slavery to Egypt, before Christ. In fact, Egypt was buying slaves from <coughs> Europe and Arab world. Meaning that it was a strong kingdom, the Egyptian Empire. And later, Moses was born and raised in the palace of the Pharaoh in Egypt. He's from the Pharaoh's palace after being taken care of by one of the princesses. After he, he was found floating, <laughs> that Moses was able to liberate the Israelites. Now, if Joseph had not been protected by Egyptians, if they had killed that servant, the uh, slave, he would, he, there wouldn't be Judaism today. If Moses, that, that daughter of King Pharaoh did not take, take pity on Moses and rescue him from that basket which was floating on River Nile, he could have been pushed it on the Nile and he could have drowned and there wouldn't be Judaism. So did, the, did Africa protect all the regions? Yes, so Africa protected all regions. All regions are surviving today. You are worshiping, going to church and pleasing the courtesy of Africa. And unfortunately, now last day, in the last 500 years, Africa <laughs> is built, that is built, lots of a, a African, then you tie not that there. But they don't blame ladies, you know? I don't blame ladies. You should tie the hair, because after all, you know the other one's son. The problem is that you men also, you have lost the you no longer see. You know, your eyes no longer see beauty. The woman just goes to the saloon, makes a good path. You can't even compliment her. She thinks maybe she's not beautiful. Now, she goes again. She goes and makes street palm. なるほど、なるほど、なるほど、なるほど、なるほど、なるほど、なるほど、なるほど、なるほど、なるほど、なるほど、なるほど、なるほど、なるほど、なるほど、なるほど、なるほど、なるほど、なるほど、なるほど、
for our survival or how did we gain our freedom is that we had Africa's African resistance movements. Some Africans, some Africans, say to organize themselves to deal with African National Congress in South Africa, Algerians, movements started rising up, people started to believe themselves. But this resistance movement was a consequence of the Second World War. After the Second World War, the soldiers who had gone to participate in the Burma, in those countries, fight on behalf of their colonial, they came back and said, by the way, these whites are not in the gods. They were also dying on the battlefield. They were also running away. Some of them will save the devil. After they can die, you can get them. They are cowards. They were running because they had seen a white man die. They had seen a white man susu when the, when the round of ammunition goes off. So they said, ah, we can beat them. Then one was a coward. And you know, after they were in the ignorant. You know, when you are dealing with an ignorant person, always watch out. An ignorant person, very terrible. You know, they say, and the ox, which doesn't you know, it will start licking the man, the axe. Because that is not what the axe does. And the tooth smiles at the spear. The tooth smiles at the spear. So when you are dealing with people who don't know, you are seeing this thing of people who don't know they have a problem because they don't know that the gun kills and the gun is scientific it will be Africa's population has just become one billion all of it and they say Africa's problem is of a population and then it's also reporting of a population is one of the reasons of Africa's and development if of a population was reason for a development then India would be the worst and even China wouldn't because 1.4 is four times smaller than Africa. Hmm? <laughs> now, Africa is the crowd of man. And being the largest stupid, actually, we are ethnically related, but they tell us we are different. Africa has got four ethnic differences, only four. All the band can hear each other. If you go to South Africa, the one they use on the head, they call it Inkata, here we call it Tengata. And if you only go to, to Zambia, they use the same name as Mugabe. Mugabe is not here. Kaunda is not here. Mandela is not here then. Yeah. We have the, similar, the similarities are more than the differences. Cradle of man. Life began in Africa. When you read the when you read the African the, the Africans Bible, there is the, this day there is African Bible, Africans Bible, I think Europe was big with James Version, what good news, whatever. But the African Bible shows very clear that the origin of life is, is Africa. But even if we didn't go with that Bible, let us go with the science. Science has said that man evolved from apes. Are there apes in the temperate area? Apes are in the tropics, isn't it? Not in the temperate area. Therefore, it should have been in the tropics. That's number one. But number two, from scientific findings of carbon dating, the oldest bone to have been discovered of the ancient living man has been discovered in East Africa. For that matter, from where? Old Vaigot, which is Tanzania, East Africa. It is Tanzania. Another one was found where? In Turkana. That is who? Kenya. Then in Karamoja. <laughs> the ancient earliest born to have been discovered in this whole world by carbon dating have been this and you know why it's very good at research they have been trying to get any simple of the four sides remnants remnants so that they can agree that the race started in europe they have failed the, the only one they have got it was discovered by dr rike and her wife in old by God. the next one was found in turkana <coughs> another one was found in karamoja therefore there is no doubt that the first person to live on this world 
was in the East African region for that matter near the Lake Victoria, Uganda, Kenya, and Tanzania. Chiwezi. Look, that is scientific. You don't need to even talk with anybody if he's a white man. Number two, to prove that Africa actually was in a, was a, is a, is a part of man. When the story of creation, God created Eden. Okay? The Garden of Eden. And he said when he was creating the Garden of Eden, he was standing between two rivers. One was Kishon, one another one was Kushon. Kuhon and Kushon. These two rivers, they say the land was between the two rivers and the, the rivers would flow to meet other rivers uh, which would form uh, Greece and uh, Ephrates. When you look at that land, you, you look that it is the white and the blue island. So the land was this land which was here, that was the garden of Eden where God was standing and seeing. So he was standing at the confluence. Then that's Omdurman. He could have been standing at Omdurman. And were, that's why when they were sent to the east, they went into the desert because even it is a desert you can see. Then the Arab world after they have been chased from the garden. When they were chased to the east and that's why it is a cast and it is always dry. Isn't it? In the Arab world you cannot survive without an AC, neither can you survive without a, 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 a heater. When it is winter, it is winter. When it is hot, it is hot. Because it was cast. The land they cast is that one, not ours. Ours, the Garden of Eden, where we are chased. Because it flows of milk and honey, and it is only in Africa where you can get wild bees and get wild milk, and you can even get wild uh, milk from the buffaloes. Because they are they're everywhere. They, when they are tired, they just milk themselves in the bush. You ask the hunters, they, you know. Are we together? Therefore, the earliest life existed in Africa. After the first man was black. Only because of migration, it is until not more than 10,000 years ago that the man was able to migrate from the Africa. After the, when you read the geological time scale, after the ice age, when ice melted, people were able to move to the other world. So when they moved to the other world, it was not able, they were not able to, con to continue being dark because of genetic mutation. That's why you studied biology, gene, but they don't tell us why. They teach you genetic what? In the biology. But the reason for teaching you genetic is to say that once you change the environment, the body can mutate and change and adapt to the environment. So the wise adapt to the environment by losing melanin, which is a black colored pigment in the African race. Because of the God does not make a mistake. This is hot, it is at the equator. You cannot have people who are brown, they will be suffering for nothing. That's when you are born like an albino, you have to have a sunscreen. You have to have the sunscreen, otherwise you will suffer. I have been outside, you say, when it becomes the, 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 the summertime, everybody is shopping sunscreen. Well, for me, I was not even having one. And we are going outside, you see, they are smelling. before they come out of there, they are smearing. If they don't, they start becoming dotted. Some, they start turning dark in some place, so they have darker blemishes. Then you ladies, you go to the, to the shop, you start buying them, you are removing the dark blemishes. Those are for white men who have not applied uh, sunscreens <laughs> during the summer, so their skin has become dotted because the sun has yeah. penetrated them and they are trying to develop mel mel melanin, and therefore, they have to do what? To have that blemish. Now if you start putting it, then you also start becoming spotted, <laughs> like them. And you know That's the product of man. That's what I have finished. The third issue, Origin of civilization. Civilization started where? In Egypt, along the Nile Valley. Civilization is simply meaning birth of knowledge, understanding. The man to start, no, if man ate the tree of knowledge for which he was just from the garden, okay? And it is from that tree of knowledge that man started getting the difference between what is good and what is wrong. And civilization is a process of gaining knowledge and understanding of how to tame nature and started in the Egypt. So it goes well that we are just from the East African area and we are sent in the dark, in the Arab area there. And man now started knowing between what is good and what is bad. That's civilization, which is dating far back before the birth of Christ. Isn't it? And therefore, 
if civilization began in Egypt, the other place, Europe, even for a long time, Europe was in the dark ages, was sleeping, there was nothing developing, until some few years back, until 1000 years, uh, until 1000 AD, after 2000, that's when Europe started waking up, but there had been dark ages, savage wars, what, barbarians, what, the country, the, 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 the besieging, the, the wars of annihilation, the, the, you have read about the Peloponnesian War, the, you have, those are, the origin of civilization was in Africa. So Africa was ahead. But prove this one, because some of you I know you still have it down, I can look from your faces. Africa has protected all regions, sacred all regions, protected religion, which you change very much, because that one, which you, me, if you talk, if you are talking about it, because when you talk about it, some people can even stone your life like they killed Jesus. Yes, that one religion, people are willing to kill on behalf of God. Go there, you are touching it. No, but say, you man, you are blasphemous. They don't want you even to think. Because when you think, you are blasphemous. Africa has protected all world regions. One of the famous world region, which is very famous very much, is Christianity, the followers of Christ. Christ is believed to have been born around 4 BC, and we started counting AD. When he was born, many things changed in this world. And he got followers after he died about 32 AD. And we believe that he ascended to heaven, he will come to, come to his kingdom and take those ones who have been uh, following him in his kingdom. Only that is taking long. And many people wonder why actually God had to send his son to die for sinners instead of killing Satan. It was simple. You deal with the symptom and you leave the cause. <laughs> but if you think that way, you, you reason, then they will kill you. So we don't reason, we keep what we know Jesus is coming. And that one we agree, let us scrap hands and we give a tithe so that Jesus can come soon. However, Christianity, it is, known, it is a known fact, even in the Bible, even in science, that Jesus was born to a virgin Mary. Jesus was born to a virgin Mary and who was bequeathed to Joseph. In the small town of Bethlehem, in a big town of Nazareth, in the capital of Nazareth. Now, when Jesus was born, miracles happened because stars started moving and some shepherds came looking for him. Herod wanted to kill baby Jesus. 